Hey everyone, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks. Today, we're taking a look at three monster growth stocks that could still soar higher. These are three companies whose stock has seen tremendous growth in this past year, but analysts still think that their stock has room to grow. So we're gonna take a look at these three companies, what it is that they do, and how much higher analysts think they could go. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Don't forget to check out our Monday through Friday pre-market morning update, where we're giving you everything you need to know before the opening bell. All right, now getting right into these stocks. The first company we're taking a closer look at is Green Plains Incorporated. They trade under the ticker GPRE and are currently at $31.10, seeing growth of nearly 15% as of close yesterday. Earlier this year, their stock was below $10 per share. On the TipRank's top smart score, they do come in as an outperform with a 9 out of 10 rating based on bullish blogger opinions, very bullish news sentiment, and increased hedge fund activity. Green Plains is a major biorefining company in the American Plains states. Green Plains refines annually renewable crops, especially corn, into value-added products, including biofuels, corn oils, animal feeds, and industrial alcohols. Green Plains is a major producer of ethanol fuels, produced from corn and used as an additive in most commercial gasolines, as well as alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Of course, the demand for hand sanitizer increased dramatically this past year. Green Plains is rapidly transforming into Green Plains 2.0, and they've only begun to harness the potential of their platform. They currently have 12 biorefineries strategically throughout the United States, 10 million tons of corn processed annually, and over 1 billion gallons is their annual production capacity of low carbon biofuels. And biorefining is a big business. Much of our economy runs on biologically and agriculturally derived products, and Green Plains saw $1.95 billion in total revenue last year. At that, the top line was down 32% from 2019, mainly due to demand issues caused by the coronavirus. The company reported lower production run rates, lower ethanol prices, and lower export volumes for the full year. The fourth quarter, the most recent reported, did see a 33% drop in revenues, with a top line of $478.8 million. Green Plains Management is steering the company's production towards ultra-high protein technology as a way of enhancing the value of corn-based food product additives. The technology shows promise to increase the value of acreage planted as measured in usable nutrition. In April of last year, the Green Plains delivered the first of ongoing shipments of ultra-high protein product from its Iowa production facility. Covering the stock for Roth Capital is five-star analyst Craig Irwin, who sees the shift to high protein as the key point for this stock. He says that we see the weak ethanol crush margins in the fourth quarter as backwards looking and focus on initiatives that drive EBITDA growth. The high pro technology is well understood at this point from Iowa, coming online in April 20 and management announced three new plants would move into high pro construction this year. GPRE will produce about 300 million pounds of corn oil after high pro is adopted. The company's high pro tech increases corn oil yields by 50% and tightening demand could support strong price momentum in our view. Currently, there are five analyst ratings on the Green Plains stock, and it comes in as a strong buy. The average price target of $33.40 is just a 7% potential upside, but that is because a couple price targets from two months ago have already been surpassed. The most recent target came yesterday with a $39 price tag for a 25% potential upside. The highest rating does come from Craig Irwin at Roth Capital with a $43 price target for a 38% potential growth. The second company we're taking a closer look at is the Babcock and Wilcox Company. Trading under the ticker BW, they're currently priced at $9.70 per share, and they've seen a lot of growth this past 12 months. Earlier this year, their shares were below a dollar. And they come in as a 10 out of 10 on the TipRank's top smart score. This is based on strong analyst ratings, very positive TipRank's investor sentiment, and bullish blogger opinions. 
They are an industrial manufacturer based out of Ohio. The company is known for industrial steam boilers, but in recent years has moved towards greener tech, recycling of biomass and refuse for energy production, and air emissions control systems. The company remains connected to its roots in boiler technology and is a leader in improving efficiency and cleaning systems for thermal power units. They are delivering value to their customers through technology-driven products and services with 1,200 active patents worldwide. Their continual product improvement and research and development to support future needs includes carbon capture. The company brings a lot of hands-on know-how to their jobs and recently have announced several contracts worldwide. Earlier in March, the company announced that its B&W thermal segment will design, supply, and install replacement thermal technologies for a power plant in North America. The contract value is more than $20 million. And just on March 31st, they announced that their B&W renewable, environmental, and thermal segments are continuing their strategic growth into key regions and have been awarded parts and service contracts totaling more than $24 million from customers in Asia, the Middle East, Europe, and other key international markets outside of the U.S. These contracts, which were awarded during their first quarter, include aftermarket parts and maintenance services for plants in a variety of industries, such as utilities, pulp and paper, and manufacturing. One analyst who thinks the stock has further to grow is Alex Rygiel from B. Riley Financial. He says that we believe BW has strong climate control, renewable, environmental tailwinds, and when coupled with its global expansion and a strong pipeline of opportunities, is positioned for strong double-digit revenue growth, margin expansion, and profitability in the coming years. BW ended 2020 with a total backlog of $535 million as previously announced, which grew 21% year over year. The 12-month backlog was $302 million, with more than 60% expected from the thermal segment. We expect the backlog to grow through 2021 as some delayed projects due to the pandemic return. Right now, there are three analysts with current ratings on the BW stock. And it comes in as a strong buy with an average upside potential of nearly 17%. We do have two price targets at $12 per share, which would be over a 23% growth potential. And the third company that we're taking a look at is ClearSign Combustion. Under the ticker CLIR, they're currently priced at $5.80. And this is another stock that has seen a lot of growth lately and earlier this year was priced below a dollar. They come in as a 7 out of 10 on the TipRank's Top Smart score, with a moderate buy rating from analyst, positive technicals, and a neutral new sentiment. ClearSign Technologies specializes in emissions control technology, which in today's political environment of ascending green priorities is a growth industry. ClearSign provides a range of technical solutions to cleaning emissions for a variety of industries, from energy, oil and gas, boilers, and chemical processing. They provide cost and energy efficient solutions that enable the world's refining petrochemical and boiler industries to meet the most stringent environmental toxic emissions regulations and increase safety and efficiency. They do this using their patented unique and revolutionary ceramic based combustion and unique sensing technologies. Their clear sign core is provided as the heart of an industrial burner. The key component is a ceramic element that controls the flame structure and radiates heat efficiently to the heater or boiler process tubes. As of December 2019, they had 29 issued patents protecting this technology. In recent weeks, ClearSign has capped its year of high growth with several new business announcements, including its completed application for fire tube boiler burner certification in China and the concurrent agreement with that country's leading boiler maker, Jiangsu Shuang Liang Boiler Company, for the provision of next-gen, ultra-low emission, high-efficiency integrated boiler burners for the Chinese market. The company expects a government response on the application by the end of the second quarter of 2021. Now, the only analyst that is currently covering the ClearSign stock is five-star analyst Amit Dayal from HC Wainwright. He says that these recent developments, especially in the China market, have materialized at a faster pace than they'd previously anticipated. We believe the company's partnership with Jiangsu Shuang Liang Boiler Company positions ClearSign extremely favorably to take share in a market comprising 350,000 boilers with a size around $8 billion. Similarly, we believe the company's emerging relationship with California Boiler now opens up the U.S. boiler opportunity for the company in a more meaningful way. 
He rates the stock a buy, and with a price target of $10 per share, we would be looking at about a 72.5% potential upside. So there we have three stocks that have seen fantastic growth this past year, but look like they still might have some momentum to continue upwards. Now, I always love hearing from you guys, so make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about these three stocks and what other growth stocks are catching your eye lately? Please keep in mind that these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock and are just meant for information and entertainment purposes. If you made it all the way to the end here, make sure you've hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. We will see you back here Monday with our pre-market morning update video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you back here next time.